Sound Overage Forwards Josh Sturk and Bryson Chianfroni are seasoned veterans of the OHL trenches, but fresh faces on the attack. Back for his third year in Mississauga, Chianfroni ended up joining the attack on a hectic and memorable first day of the OHL season. So I uh, went to a pregame skate in the morning for Mississauga and then uh, after that I went home and then I got a call from my agent and he told me that Owen Sound was interested in uh, getting me. So uh, I accepted that offer and then went back to the rink, grabbed all my gear and uh, Dale wanted me to play in Kitchener that night. So I uh, had to rupture Mississauga to Kitchener, got acquainted with the, with the guys and then uh, played a quick game in Kitchener and it was a good one. Right in front, the attack, what an opportunity, they score, Chin Frody. Already with two assists in an Owen Sound comeback, Chianfroni's overtime winner put an exclamation mark on his attack debut. I, I was huge, you know. Uh, the guys were excited uh, that I was on the team, and then uh, once I scored that goal, everybody was really, uh, really fired up there. So uh, good welcoming to the team, and uh, the boys can trust me. Trust was a big reason why Bryson Chianfroni and Josh Dirk were brought to Owen Sound, with attack GM Dale DeGray looking to fill a leadership void left by the departure of key veterans. Now in his fifth season, Sturk broke in as an OHL rookie back in 2011 with Kitchener, where he looked up to the Rangers' small but determined overage captain, Michael Catanacci. You know, he's a smaller guy just like me, and, you know, he's kind of, you know, we, me and him both had the, you know, a tough way to get, you know, to where we are right now, and, um, you know, he's a hard-working player, and he had a pretty good OA year, and hopefully I can do the same as well. Driving, what a shot! A great shot by Josh Sturk. Getting a chance to share their overage seasons together in a new OHL home has been an unexpected treat for old pals Sturk and Chianfroni. Uh, I've known Josh since about eight years old, so uh, I've played with him and against him since I was eight, so he's a really good player, really good uh, playmaker, good score. Bryson's a special player, that's for sure. He's a, he's a leader in the room, and he, uh, you can't say anything bad about him. He's just a great guy, um, skillful player, and you know we're glad to have him in Owen Sound, that's for sure. After playing in some of the OHL's largest cities, Sturk and Chianfroni have enjoyed the move north to the Bayshore and the league's smallest center. Uh, yeah, you know, it's way different. I'm um, a you can walk around town, nobody will know who you are. And then you go to Owen Sound, everybody knows who you are. So it's a big change of, of lifestyles from uh, both teams. So I'm really enjoying up in Owen Sound. I love the fan base up there, and it's really fun. Here is Sturk now with Lindo. Sturk to Lindo scores! With a combined eight seasons and over 400 games between them, Chianfroni and Sturk are well aware of what an overage year in the OHL can mean for a player and his team. These five years have flown by, and you know, right now I'm just trying to take it all in and, you know, enjoy it, enjoy it while it lasts because, you know, this is my last year and, you know, hopefully I can do something, get a contract or, you know, do something special here, especially in Owen Sound, you know, they deserve it. For Inside the O, I'm Chris Schooley.